We ate at Toadstool Cafe, the newest restaurant at Universal Studios Hollywood. I'll discuss what the highlights were and what my favorite items were. If you want to eat here, make sure to come first thing in the morning to make sure you can get in. Sometimes it fills up for the day, so ask about reservations. When we were there, they were handing out cards with wait times on them for when to come back. Also, if it's a super busy day, reservations may be required to enter Super Nintendo World. So make sure to check on the Universal app or go to a kiosk to see if they are taking reservations. While you're here, don't forget to scan your power-up band to get some coins. It's right at the entrance. Inside the restaurant as you're waiting, they have the menu on screen so you can decide what you want before ordering at the counter. Once you order, you'll be given a tray with your drinks and someone will show you to a table. Then you just sit and wait for them to bring you the food. The theming of Toadstool Cafe is great. You have toads cooking and running around. It's fun to watch. For the food I ordered, the Luigi Burger. It's a pesto grilled burger with Swiss cheese, green pepper, and spinach, and comes with truffle fries. Let's see how it tastes. The next thing I tried was a Mario burger. It's a beef patty with bacon, mushrooms, tomato, lettuce, and American cheese. I'm gonna try the hamburger. ordered toadstool cheesy garlic knots. They are seasoned with garlic butter, parsley, and parmesan cheese with a side of marinara. Garlic knots. Dip it in there. Definitely need some sauce to make it really good. I also tried the Superstar Lemon Squash. This drink is a honey lemon soda with mango stars and assorted tropical bobas. This is a lemon squash. I like it. Very fruity. Very refreshing. Now for dessert. I tried the Princess Peach Cupcake. This is a raspberry filled funfetti cupcake with buttercream frosting. I like it. It's very 
everything, but you can taste that, that dye. That's why it needs to be. <laughs> it has a lot of frosting. It's more frosting than I like, but it is good. I'm trying to get that filling. It's a raspberry filling. Raspberry filling's good. I like it. I would get it again. Just wish I had a fork. <laughs> this is really good. I get it again. Very refreshing. I like the bubble balls. I don't think they're too sweet. Right. Not too sugary. Here are my final thoughts after eating at Toadstool Cafe. The Luigi chicken sandwich was good. The chicken wasn't dry, but not really juicy either. But it definitely needed that pesto sauce. It was pretty good, but it didn't blow me away. However, those fries were amazing. They were crispy and full of flavor with that seasoning on them, and they give you a ton of them. I like fries crispy, and I've had a lot of crinkle cut fries that were soft and soggy but these were way better than I was expecting. The Mario burger was good, but you could definitely taste the mushrooms. So if you're not a fan of mushrooms, then don't get it or simply scrape it off. The Princess Peach cupcake is bigger than your typical cupcake. It has a mountain of frosting on it, which makes it hard to eat. I would suggest asking a server for a knife to cut it in half. Someone brought me a knife and the spoon after I realized how hard it was to eat. It's also big enough to share. Inside the cupcake is a raspberry filling, which is really good. It tastes just like the stuff in a jelly-filled donut. The frosting is a buttercream frosting. It tastes good. You can taste some of that dye, but it's more pronounced in the darker pink. I liked it, and I'm glad that it had the fruit filling, since it really adds something more to just being a normal cupcake. But the star out of everything for me was a superstar lemon squash. It's so good. I can't wait to have it again. For me, I didn't think it was overly sweet. It was nice and refreshing, and it had so many different textures, which is a weird thing to say for a drink, but it had the tropical boba balls and the chunks of mango. It was unique and interesting, and I didn't feel like the boba balls were too sweet. But what was really interesting is how some of the boba balls just melted in my mouth while others didn't pop right away. The drink just has so many levels to it. The garlic knots were good and had some seasoning that helped to give it flavor and the sauce was your typical marinara sauce, but it is a nice appetizer. Uh, overall I enjoyed everything I ate at Toastal Cafe, but the standouts for me were that lemon squash drink and the fries. Toastal Cafe is a fun place to eat. I love the theming and there's so many great options on the menu. I can't wait to go back and eat here again and try some of the other options. Have you eaten here or do you plan on eating here? I'd love to know. Click that subscribe button if you're new here and have an awesome day.